You can't scale what's broken, meaning if your business has cracks in its foundation, it's most likely gonna cause you issues as you try to grow. See, right now, you as a businessman may believe that you're ready to grow your company by just dialing in your marketing to acquire more sales, but that's just not true, and here's why. See, business is no more than a series of inputs and outputs, a series of processes and systems that enable you to acquire customers and keep them happy. And the best way to ensure that you experience repeatable, sustainable, and profitable growth in your business is to turn it into an operational machine that doesn't necessarily rely on you to run properly. This begins by first taking a 10,000 foot view of your business and mapping out your value chain. Now, a value chain is simply a set of steps that your business goes through for getting the attention of your ideal customers or clients and then taking them through that process that one, converts them into a client or customer, uh, but then two, actually keeps them happy and keeps them wanting to buy from you again. And when you map out this value chain process, you're actually able to basically assess and analyze where in that value chain you're actually having a bottleneck that's preventing your business from actually growing or running at the weight that you want it to run. When you finally realize that, hey, you know what, my sales conversions are quite low, or you know what, I'm not actually getting the leads that I need to, or maybe it's the fulfillment when all of a sudden you are great at getting the attention of your ideal customers or clients, and but it actually turns out that once you've sold something to them, they don't actually get great results and they're not too happy, that could be the bottleneck in your business and making sure that you actually have the fulfillment that's dialed in of not only keeping those people happy after they've bought from you, but then two, actually, yeah, having a systemized and proven process that's working well, that could be the issue that you're dealing with. Now, there are four key elements for each step that you want to basically address or break down to ensure that things are truly dialed in. Number one is the owner for that step. Number two is the systems for that step. Number three, the KPIs for that step. And number four is the strategic plan for that step. Let's talk about the owner. The owner is the person who basically ensures responsibility for making sure that the success of that step is met. And this involves making sure that the systems for that step are run correctly, but then also that the KPIs are being hit that need to be hit for that step to again run smoothly. Next up is systems. A business system is essentially a series of processes to accomplish a specific step. And so in each step of your business, you wanna make sure that you actually have systems that enable you to no longer have guesswork for how to perform a specific task. It's actually broken down with either standard operating procedures or training videos or just checklists that enable you or someone on your team to actually, again, know exactly how a specific task is to be performed. Um, and then once you have that system created, great, it's done and you can just make sure that, again, you have the right owner who can actually ensure the success of that step by following that system. Next are KPIs, key performance indicators. They're essentially the key metrics of progress that you measure that indicate you know, where you're at and the health of your actual business as a whole. They are the quantifiable outcome-based statements. Again, they only provide you with the facts of where you're at. So when you're measuring these KPIs, you wanna measure, hey, these are the standards that we need to hit for each step of the business that you have those KPIs for. Do you have the actual frequency of how often you're measuring them, you have the target that you're going for and then the stretch goal. So when you find out that, hey, you're measuring all these KPIs for each step of your business and you find out that, hey, I'm not even hitting the standard for this step of the business with this KPI, now you'll actually be basically completely aware of what you need to focus your time and energy on to have operational improvement. And last is the strategic plan. It's important to make sure that you don't have things super complex and you don't confuse people. You make things super simple and clear so that way everyone has a good understanding of what needs to be done to continue to drive the results for each step of your value chain. What I've done is I've attached a few worksheets to this video to hopefully help you in accomplishing everything I just explained. See, it's not about, again, having some super complex plan or just getting more customers. Sometimes you gotta make sure that the operations of your business are dialed in, starting with mapping out your value chain and knowing exactly what those key steps are, being able to actually assign the responsibility to hitting the key metrics, the KPIs, to a person that can actually drive those KPIs, and then you just making sure that everything is running smoothly just the way that it needs to run. Click the link around this video to get access to those worksheets. Guess what? If this video brought you value, then our other videos that we film and produce on this channel will as well. Be sure to subscribe so that way Grab the Castle can weaponize you with the frameworks, systems, protocols, and even just the lessons that we've learned about life for not only 
turning your business into an operational machine to increase your production and profit, but at the same time, balance out building a business with having a great life at home. Especially if you're a businessman, this is exactly where you wanna be. All right, hopefully, again, this video brought you value, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.